hi guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how you can register on the zenet bank mobile app i'm going to be showing you guys how you can activate the zenet bank mobile app so that you can use it to carry out your daily bank transactions such as payment of bills airtime top up money transfers and so on so guys want to know how to do this just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if this video is helpful to you please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment as that will help grow this channel so guys let's get started so guys now the first step you have to take now is to make sure you have downloaded and installed the Zenet Bank mobile app into your phone. For you to do that you have to go over to your play store and that's if you're using an android device but if you're using an ios device or an iphone what you have to do is to go over to your app store and you search it out and download it. But guys in case you don't know how to do that you don't need to bother much because i've actually made a video specifically on how you can actually download and install the Zenet Bank mobile app into your phone. What you have to do is that after you're done watching this video then you go over to the description of this video you're going to see a video link there. Tap on needs that you'll be able to watch and learn how you can download and install the Zenet Bank mobile app into your phone. So guys, that's how it's done. So guys, once you've gotten the app, what you have to do now is to tap on it to open it. So guys, let me tap on it right away. So guys, now you can see my Zenet Bank mobile app is opening. So guys, now you can see the Zenet Bank mobile app has opened. So guys, if you open the app for the first time, this is the interface you're going to see. This is what it looks like. So guys, now the first step to take now in order to register and get this app activated, what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written, register. You can see down there, the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see what is written here. Registration 1 over 3. That means this registration involves 3 steps. So guys, this is the first step. And here you're required to impute your account number. You can see the way it is written account number. So guys, for you to impute it, you have to tap on account number. So let me tap on it now to impute my account number. So let me impute it right away. So guys, now you can see I've imputed my Zenet Bank account number. So the next step to take now is to tap on that empty box there. You can see that box there. You have to tap on it to tick it. By ticking it now, you're agreeing to Zenet Bank terms and privacy policy. So guys, let me tap on it now to tick it. So guys, now the next step now is to tap on continue. So let me tap on continue right away. So guys, now you can see the next step. You can see what is waiting there. Select registration modes. So guys, you can see that we have three modes right there. Three registration modes. The first one is hardware slash e-token. The second mode is debit card. While the third one is OTP. So guys, the registration mode we are going to be using in this video tutorial today is the second one, which is debit card. So guys, you can see it right there. So what you have to do now is to tap on it to select it. So let me tap on it. You can see where the arrow is pointing at. So let me tap on it. So guys, what you have to do next now is to impute your debit card details, your ATM card details. You can see the FX box there. What you have to impute is the last six digits of the card. What you have to do now to get the last six digits of your card is to bring your ATM card. You will see a 16 digit in front of your ATM card. Copy the last six digits of the card. You can see the last six digits there. You can see it there being encycled. That's what you need to impute there. You need to type it in there. So guys, after you've imputed the last six digits of your card, what you have to do now is to impute your card PIN. Your card PIN is your transaction PIN. What do you use normally to authenticate your transaction using your ATM card so guys you have to impute it right away so guys let me impute mine right away so guys now you can see I've imputed the last six digits of my ATM card and also I've imputed my card pin what I have to do now is to tap on continue so let me tap on continue right away so guys now you can see what is written here a 5 digit OTP code has been sent to your number and email so guys you have to get the OTP code and paste it right here and type it right here so guys let me go and get it right away Seven nine eight seven three. So guys, I've gotten a number, so let me paste it right away. So guys, now I've imputed this, so let's just wait for a few seconds. So guys, now you can see here's the next step. You can see what you are required to impute. So guys, over here you have to create a password. You can see where the arrow is pointing at. You have to enter your password. You have to create one. You can see the criteria of creating one. You can see the first one, minimum 6 digit. That means your password must not be less than 6 digit. The second one is not more than 2 sequence numbers. While the last one is not more than 2 repetitive numbers. So guys, let's go back to the next one which is confirm password. You can see where the arrow is pointing at. You have to retype your password to be sure that it is correct. Then over to the next one, you have to impute your transaction pin and also confirm the pin. So guys, your transaction pin is what you're going to be using to authenticate your transaction in this mobile app. That's what you're going to be using to make your transaction successful. So guys, now let me go ahead now to impute my account password and also my transaction pin so guys let me do it right away 
So guys, now you can see I've inputted my account password and also I confirmed the password by retyping it and also I've inputted my transaction pin and I also retyped the transaction pin to confirm that. So guys, now the next step to take now is to tap on confirm. So let me tap on confirm right away. You can see down there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap. Wow guys, you can now see we have successfully registered on the Znet Bank Mobile app. So guys, now you can see what is written there. Registration successful. Welcome to Znet Bank Mobile Experience. So guys, what you have to do now is to log in and you have to log in with your account password. So guys, let me tap on login right away to show you guys how you can do it. So guys, now to log in, you have to input your account number and your password. So guys, let me input it right away. So guys, now you can see I've inputted my login details which are my account number and my password. So guys, what you have to do next now is to tap on sign in. So let me tap on sign in right away. Wow guys, can I see you have been signed into the Zenet Bank mobile app. Now you can see your account balance. You can carry out your bank transactions like airtime top up, transfer and the rest of it. So guys, now I've been able now to show you guys how you can actually register and activate the Zenet Bank mobile app. So guys, at this point now, we'll have to end this video. I believe you got value from this. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing and leaving a comment as that will help grow this channel. So guys, see you in our next upload. Bye. Peace.